Hey everyone, so today I just want to show you guys a quick little tutorial on something probably everyone uses and it just frustrates people whenever they have a nice image here. And I actually saw this meme and I always thought it was really funny. I'll show it actually right here. Uh, it's, it's, it just brought it back and I was like, man, do people really struggle with this? Is this really such a big deal for people? But I guess it is because I actually did look. This was on one of those uh, subreddits for like you know, PCMR and PC Master Race, those things, and Battle Stations and stuff like that. So I saw this was kind of interesting because I saw the meme and I was like, man, it had a lot of comments. I'm like, man, this amount of people are actually having trouble. With this, I'll just show you guys how to do it. It's real easy. Sometimes you're saving image from the internet. It's not going to be saved as a typical JPEG or PNG file, which um, which are usually one of the more major ones that are actually picked up on, especially if you're using like uh, Microsoft Photos or whatever they want to call it, the Photos app. And sometimes when you're scrolling through there, you download something and you're like, whoa, it's not there anymore. Sometimes it'll skip over some of the files that you do have and you're like, what's going on? That's usually because it's in a WebP format. Now, now what, what is a WebP format and why does it matter? I'm, we don't have to really make a video about that since we could probably do that. If you guys are really interested, we can do. It's just another type of compression method that was actually made by Google and they're claiming that it's going to be like 26% smaller than a typical PNG file and it's just going to be pretty much another way of compressing the file. So because there's so much data on the internet and there's lots of things going around, there's lots of useless stuff going around that they, you have to always try to use compression to make the internet smoother. So that's the whole idea behind it and that's why this is always a problem. But you guys are always like, well, I want to download my image. So give me my image. So let's get actually right into it. I have a good example of an image here. So we can go to the, the little PC Master Race. a little nice little build someone has here. Uh, we're not going to call them out or anything, but it's nice. We like it, right? So when you want to save an image, just say this is a great example if you're on Reddit. You want to save an image. So usually a good way to do it is you want to open image in a uh, new tab. If you want to do that because sometimes that can uh, not it will eliminate the preview file and sometimes it might show in a bigger file as well. It might do that on certain websites. It might not. Now you just have the image in it and you can see it says preview Reddit. And now it does say that it actually comes up as a JPEG. But when you try to save it, you hit save image as. It's coming up as this thing. It's called a WebP file. And when you save it like that, that's that's not. it's going to sometimes skip over, especially if you're using the Photos app or anything else. So we want to keep this more organized. We want to see our types as a JPEG. So there's a real easy way you can do or you want to see it as a PNG. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to change the file type. So uh, it's we can do all from here. We don't have to download anything or anything. So we go to, from save file type. We can go to all files. And we want to delete this extension. So the extension is after the last character, there's always a, a, a period. And sometimes it shows up on certain files. Sometimes some people might call it, uh, see it hidden if they are using, if they don't want to see file extensions. Some people do that as well. They won't see .jpg. They just want to call the name of the file, whatever. So what we can do is we can change the name of it. You can call it whatever you want if we're going to be customizing the name. But we're not doing that now. We want to just delete what's after the period. So the period is the extension. And anytime you ever break an extension, it can corrupt the file. So you don't want to do that as if you don't call it either a .jpg or I like this one because the PNG is usually uh, a nicer format. So I like going to .png. So I'm going to go save it to desktop. Let's see how it comes up. So it saves here. And uh, you can actually go look for it. You can hit show in folder or wherever you're going to see it. And we see it here. And it says .png. But is it really a PNG? When we click it, it does show up in the Photos app with no problem. And when we right click it, it's going to show go to properties. And we see it's a type of file is a PNG, .png file. And now we can open with photos. We can open with anything else. And man, I, I hope it's not going to harm my computer just getting an image from uh, Reddit. So that's really about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Just learned something today about uh, WebP files and just how to do a quick little thing. It's really easy to do that, especially for a lot of images. I know a lot of people are having trouble with that. I can't believe it. So I had to make a video. Of course, we did like a Photoshop video a while ago to show you guys how to scale things. We always like to show you guys other things as well, but we also do computer repairs. Don't forget that. That's what we're here for. So hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like, really help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.